Gauchi will forego the ride on the Colin Hayes trained two-year-old Rory's Jester in Saturday's Rich Golden Slipper Stakes in Sydney. Terry Clifton reports. Gauchi was aboard the Bart Cummings trained three-year-old Century Fox in the first race today when the horse broke down as the field approached the home turn. Gauchi appeared to jump off the horse when he realised it was in trouble and he landed heavily on the hard track. The horse was later put down and Gauchi was rushed to Ballarat Base Hospital where x-rays revealed a fractured rib on the left side. A hospital spokesman said Gauchi was able to leave hospital late today but he would not be able to ride for at least two weeks. Gauchi had reached a personal milestone last Saturday in Sydney when his win on Rory's Jester brought up the 300th victory of his short but spectacular career. However, today's incident means he will now miss out on the ride on Rory's Jester in Saturday's Golden Slipper Stakes. Veteran jockey Mick Mallion now looks certain to be offered the mount. And in the meantime, Golden Slipper fancy New Atlantis got the worst possible alley when Barry positions were drawn for the big race in Sydney today. At this morning's breakfast of the Stars track work, by far the most impressive performer was Let's Get Physical, who worked hard and fast on a dead track, and certainly he's impressed his connections with his form this week. Pre-draw favourite New Atlantis, the unbeaten South Australian colt, only worked lightly, however he's looked quite at home at Rose Hill, and his connections too are pleased with the way he's working. Peter Cook confirmed he will be riding sudden in the slipper, after some speculation he may switch to New Zealand filly, March Akita. Well, the news wasn't so good for Sutton drawing wide at 13 and New Atlantis drawing even wider at 15. So it was much better for Let's Get Physical, who drew the good barrier number two. Let's Get Physical's odds have improved to five to one with that draw, although trainer Bob Smurden did have some reservations. It's a little bit closer in than we had hoped, but uh, you can't be fussy with two, and he has got the speed to, to take advantage of it, I think, too. Leading bookmaker Dominic Byrne has eased New Atlantis's odds from 2 to 1 to 4 to 1 after it drew barrier 15, but that hasn't deterred trainer Don Hay.